Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Norgun 111, and welcome back to Fez, where, look what I found, it's another purple door that's been exposed by falling ocean waters. Let's start today off by seeing what's in here. Okay. Uh, the world is coming apart, that's why I win it. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't look like there's anything for me to do there. Uh, where do I think I'm going next? Here. And then probably here. There's like one little piece of every bit of the world in here. Interesting. Uh, that one's still out of reach. I thought I saw some of the... Um... Oh, there's something over here. Here we go. And then I can climb up here, okay. So this is just like a climbing ascent, it feels like. I'm just gonna do what I can, because I must. And presumably we'll get somewhere and it'll be good. Oh gosh! Okay, I do just respawn. It's no big deal, don't worry about it. There's a pink block, which might be okay, except for there's another one. Hmm. Aha! Here's something. Alright, this is a little hard on the eyes. Uh, I thought maybe I saw something good over there, but maybe not. So from here, aha, here's something. Okay, still not sure exactly. Uh, this is where I just came from? Hold on, there was some pink over there, I think. Uh, no, that was just glitchiness. What do I think I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, I definitely can't- oh, I just fell down. That's not good. Right, so I remember being here. And then I came here. And found my way up here. So, pink. Usually, like, the music, like, the pink would change, here's something. No, I've done this before. And then there was this. So, presumably, there should be something over here. Yeah, I see it. Okay. And then... That's where I just came from. Still stuff above me. So... What if I jump to the left? There is something here. Okay, great. And I can climb up here. Which lets me get up here. <laughs> oh no! It's a crumble block. Where will I be going next? I'm not sure. I think I kind of got a sense of where I might be going there. So let's jump up here and then jump. Oh! And that did it. Great. And then I can see another one to go up. And then, okay, there's those blocks. We're gonna make things tricky, 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 tricky tricksters. Maybe. Or maybe not. Uh, I think I can just make this jump. And I think I can just make this jump. And hey, look! It's a anti-cube. And a little work thingy. Alright, which has brought me back here, so I was just at, uh, the bell. Where is the bell? Uh, we'll never know, because the map is impossible to read. There's the bell. Okay, so if I zoom in on the bell... Right, I want to check that place out again. Uh, where did the bell go? It's just gone. The map is like, nope, you can't look at that. The bell is, like, behind here. Yeah, there's the bell. Okay, there's the bell. So from the bell... Yeah, there's the glitchy zone, and it's lit up gold. Okay, so we did everything that we needed to do in the crazy glitchy zone. Now I want to go back to the bell. 
And do I remember where it is? Of course not. But I'll find it. Oh, it's right over here. Guess what? I found it. Didn't even have to cut away. So, there are two other things we want to do here. One is... Uh, I don't remember where that goes, but I don't need it right now. And this, yes, goes to the tree. I wonder if there's going to be a purple door exposed here. Now there is. It was on this ziggurat that was underwater before. Well, I presume there's going to be a door here? Yes. Oh, no. Is it like a 64 door? What? Another door? How many doors can there be? This has to be the last one. I'm pretty sure. But honestly, even I don't know what's behind this one. In any case, this one requires 64 cubes to open. That's right. All the cubes. All of them. Better get a move on. Okay. There's another door. Well, at least that solves the mystery of why this place was here. So I can add that to my notes, and that's one I won't need to come back to for a while. That does at least fill in... Uh, well, it doesn't fill in. I guess it's still going to be someplace I haven't been on my map. But now I know what the secret is here and what to do. And it's get 64 cubes, and then we'll be able to go there. Okay, great. Uh, now, at the bell, I have some complete guesses about how I might ring the bell. Uh, and so I'm going to attempt to try those guesses. So at the bell... There is one, six, three, fifteen, and it makes some music that I kind of recognize as four different pitches that bells often play, and so I'm going to try playing the bells in a way that I often hear bells playing just like in the real world. So, that one. That one. That one. And then... It's gonna go back. I need to get in front of it. And that's like, I don't know, the half hour or something? Uh, I didn't want to do that one next. I wanted to do... darn it. <laughs> what I wanted to do... was... that, and then... All right, I did the two halves at least. Um, but yeah, there's you know bells that go dun 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 or something like that. And so I just took a guess, ding dong. But yeah, I don't think there's any codes that have suggested what I'm supposed to actually do here. So I still don't know how to solve that. And I guess let's move on to the next thing. So I have returned to my home village, because there's a question mark here. And now that I know the numbering system, there are seven Tetris pieces that have been labeled with numbers. They have the numbers 1 through 8, except for the number 3 is missing. And I have some guesses at what I might do, but I think basically I'm going to need to input some code here. So let me scratch some things down on paper by transcribing the Tetris pieces. Okay, so the missing number is three, and one is up, two is right trigger, four is A, five is right, six is left trigger, seven is down, and eight is left. The inputs that I usually make in the game don't include X, uh, which is interact, and there is XYZ over here, uh, and so I'm thinking maybe it's saying press X for number three, and there's like three symbols on here. 
I'm kind of just guessing with that one, but let's try it out. So up, right trigger, X, A, right, left trigger, down, left. That's incorrect. Okay, what if I just skip number three and just do those other inputs? Up, right trigger, A, right, left trigger, down, left. Also incorrect. So for number three, I could also try substituting in each of the other things. <laughs> um, like, I don't have any other better guess to do, right? My head was, like, clipping through the uh, side of the boiler here. There's this little thing on the side of the boiler that I guess is just, like, some gauge that looks like maybe it could be a thing or something. In any case, I'm going to just futz with trying a few other sets of inputs and see if I can get something to work. Okay, well, none of my ideas panned out in this room. I still don't know what it wants me to press for number three, assuming it does want me to make eight specific key presses. That said, I was looking through the achievements for this game. I think I have seven of 12 so far. And one of the achievements actually has a set of eight inputs <laughs> as its description. Right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger. Right trigger, left trigger, left trigger, left trigger. All right, and so you just do that anywhere in the world, I guess, and you get an anti-cube. I just got the achievement. <laughs> okay, and so presumably, yes, this room is still unsolved, so I got the achievement. Is there anything? So a number three would look like a up and a right inside the box, so kind of like the number five over here, uh, except the other way. And so... There's nothing that looks like that anywhere, right? There isn't some crazy way to make this look like a three. No, it kind of looks like a, a five meshed with a 10. Uh, really? Over here. I guess I can't see what's like in the upper right of the poster and overall this whole poster. This was, I think, like the top face of the hexahedron, and we've also seen this exact Tetris piece layout somewhere elsewhere, but I don't know what to make of it. And then there's this. Okay. So. Uh, oh. Suppose this were saying 3 equals 0 somehow? But I don't know what 0 is either, because that does look like 0 up top, just like an empty box. Uh, kind of. It's not in the same kind of like the hole should be bigger in the middle or whatever to kind of like match pixels with the font. And I don't even know that like, yeah, this doesn't, it's more like a not equals or something. Like before I saw like two horizontal lines that I was trying to make like equals or sums, or I was even thinking of like sums of squares or subs of cubes or different things. Um, but yeah, this could also, the bottom section, be interpreted as like the three-eyed creature or whatever, and then the upper one be like the the one-eye or the third eye that like the ninjas are wearing on a headband. I don't know. And... Yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> so unfortunately, I think I have like seven-eighths of this puzzle solved maybe, but I don't know how to do the eighth bit. Okay, let me figure out what I'm going to do next then. So amazingly enough, there is a place on my map that has cube bits in the sewers. I don't remember being here before, but apparently I was because it was on my map. And there is a cube bit up there, it looks like, as well as a tuning fork, if that's what it is, that I might be able to do something with now. Okay, so A, there's my cube bit. So now there's only two remaining in the world. And then dot is something to say. I wonder what this is. Okay, so I'm going to listen carefully. Okay, it's eight repeating, and I believe it's left, 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 right, left, right, left, right. There we go. And I got myself another anti-cube. Hooray. Okay, so bit by bit, we're slowly getting some things checked off. And so, uh, 
I don't feel like trying to do the rest of the sewers right now because that was a really difficult challenge. So we'll go back there later because there's still... Oh, there's another exit too? Hmm. What could the other exit be? Oh, the other exit is the one that I never got to because of the platforming challenge, which means that I could get to the tuning fork and get that done. Let's try to get to the tuning fork and get that done. It's not that far away. This is where the map doesn't help me. I'm in this room. I want to get to this room. And there is a path from point A to point B. But I don't know where it is on here, and especially in the sewer place, like they all kind of look the same uh, with the little preview glance. And so the map basically doesn't help me at all. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying every door. Okay, so over here in the red zone, there's one exit that I did make it to. And that's the one I want to go back to now. And so I think I can just, yeah, do some easy, uh, wait. Hold on. There's an exit that I did make it to? Because it seems like this is all... Is there another door, like, right around here? Or is there a door if I, like, go farther to the right or to the up or something? Why are there all these things? So if I ride all of these things... Like, there's the big door I just came in. Was there another door somewhere along the way? I'm not seeing another door. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so in here is the tuning fork. Great, okay. So let me listen to this. It's again an eight cycle and I believe it's left, left, right, left, left, right, right, right. Okay, so I got another anti-cube, that's great. And I guess since I'm standing right here, I feel obligated to give at least one attempt to the part that I hate. <laughs> so let me go give an attempt or two or ten to the part that I hate, since it's right here nearby. Oh my gosh. I just got it in the first try. Uh, what am I doing? This is a platform that would ride upwards. What's upwards of me? Uh, if I rotate... Okay, I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to rotate while I ride this upwards. Um, I used a different strategy, and it worked. <laughs> so I guess you probably got a chance to witness it. I am recording, right? Yes, good. And I think I hear the yeah, I hear the lava coming. And it's currently like at the top of the screen. Uh, basically, when I see that I'm about to get into bad stuff, I need to rotate. Okay, so sure enough, I'm riding this up. Be calm. Be calm. Don't need to rotate yet. I will soon. Let's do it now. Cool. Okay, I need to stand in the middle. That's easy enough. I'm doing it. I'm going to need to move to the left. Let's wait patiently. Don't get caught sleeping on the job. This is more my speed. No needing to press the jump button or worry about momentum. We're just patiently waiting. There is a platform on the left that has a door on it. So I want to go to there. Um, can I make this jump? I mean, I've got to, right? Oh, it stopped, okay. <laughs> that helps. Okay, a door I've never been in. So a room I've never been in. 
Does it have a cubit for me or something? It's... Hmm. It just has a hypercube, or uh, what do you call them? Looks like. Uh, what are those things called? Anti-cube. Why can't I never remember the name of anti-cube? I don't know. Alright, well, I got it. Which means I never have to worry about coming back here again. That's actually a significant accomplishment. Okay, and I'm very happy to take this back. All right, so that brings me back to the warp thingy here. And now if we zoom out, we have completed everything in the sewer section. So the sewers are just completely done. That's a great, one fewer thing to worry about. Slowly but surely, getting things checked off. So I've been meaning to come back here. I haven't seen any new owls as far as I know, but this time all four of them are here. Okay, a thing happened. I don't know why that was different from last time. Uh, Dot is flying around. Can I talk to you guys again? Can't talk to you. Can I talk to Dot? Owls creep me out. Okay, but did it just open this door? Or is this where I just came from? This is the new spot. Oh, and there's a cubit here at least. Okay, we are making progress once again. Uh, there's also a... Uh, where's the cubit? There's the cubit. Let's get it. Thank you. One left in the world. That was the only cubit. And then there's also going to be an anti-cube. Okay, this is acceptable. <laughs> this is an okay outcome. Alright, I can see a platform. I can probably get closer. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get closer. Can I reach that? Yeah. And then the other platforms are not currently nearby. They're still not. Freaky Owl. Okay, here's a platform. And I think the other one's on the other side. No, it's here. Okay. Great. Okay. I am in the cleanup phase, and it's taking time, but I'm getting things cleaned up. And so now, if I were to back up, this whole section of the uh, lightning zone, basically, appears to be done. Great. Okay, we're making progress. I don't even understand what we're doing half the time, but we're making progress. And that's what matters. And just to verify, I can't talk to any of you guys. Okay, but we assembled the Parliament. Oh, and now the owl's facing away from me over here. Interesting. He's never facing me. If I had... Hmm. Owls creep me out, yeah. Alright. And this brings me to where I just was. Alright, I'm confused. Which door did I just come through? <laughs> this is what happens all the time. Um, I don't see another door. How did I get here? I must have come from somewhere. And none of them make any sense. If I come down here... Like, there isn't a door here. There isn't a door here. There isn't a door here. And there isn't a door here. So the only door I see is this one. But it brings me here. So how do I get back to the world? Now the owl is facing me again. There's got to be something else that needs to be done here. So what do I need to do? Uh, I'm trying interacting with the owls. I can talk to Dot. Owls creep me out, sure. Uh, I can see... Oh, maybe... There's doors on each side. I understand. This one brings me back to where I came from. They looked exactly the same, but were rotated 180 degrees from each other. Oh my goodness. Okay, and that has brought me back here. Okay. 
Um, what are we doing next? Any chance now that I've met the owls that the candles room over here does something? Eh, it just has like a sound of wind blowing through. But I can try some other owly places. And I wonder if I went to the original owl effigy where Dot gave me like the premonition or something of assembling the parliament. If anything would be different there. I guess I could try that. Looking at this again, I almost feel like these are like robot people. Um, like there was like a technology of uh, people just like there was like the my town where I grew up and then the new town where the people had taller heads and these are like robot people with skinny heads or something. Sorry, I'm just wandering around again and I don't know, I always enjoy coming back to this place even though it's purportedly done. <laughs> This one just seems very mysterious to me. Okay, so I've come back here. Here are the owls. I've done that. See their effigy. I may be doing that, or I've done it a couple of other places. Assemble the parliament. I think I've done that. But then that's it. And this room has a red background. And we saw another room with a red background like this. And when I spun around it, it ended up being the case that I ended up going out a different door. That doesn't happen here. <sighs> but the red background, it is the way that I first made the transition into the Crow Lightning Zone. I don't know. I hmm. feel like I'm still missing something important. And I haven't found my way back to the ancient city, where there's like the ancient broken down version of pretty much this exact city, I think. Can I see that on my map? Like, it must exist somewhere. Let me just see if I can lay eyes on it by zooming in and out and doing different things. Like, am I making up that that place ever existed? <laughs> I can't seem to find it on the map anywhere. There it is. Okay, so that's near the clock tower is where the ancient throne is. So, okay, and so that's one of the warps. Okay, so I should be able to get there pretty easily, actually. I just want to go visit that again and compare it to this place. So yeah, this place. Okay, so. Rotating around on the top. There's just a treasure chest up there. There's no doors here. Okay, so over here. We have... I'm not sure what this is. Okay, but here's like the cast system that I was imagining. So we got the commoners, the ninja dudes, the fez wearers, and the king. Any other doors on this level? Yes. Okay, so I need to get to this door without killing myself. Uh, hmm. How do I climb back up? Here. This has them making... Is that the Stargate, maybe? Maybe. This is like constructing it, which we thought we saw was happening on top of the inhabited village. Yeah, and it's just like, and then it, and then it like broke, and we saw that broken black hole warp somewhere, something too. Huh. If there is a lore, like I'm really struggling to piece it all together. This is the full version of the QR code, which I never verified if it was the same as the uh, broken version. And so this one, are we in the future or the past? Like this is all kind of decayed, but this QR code is here. And then meanwhile, in like the scaffolding place where it's inhabited, like only part of the QR code was there. And where does this take me? Just to remind myself, oh. Oh, it takes me... I do need to come back here, because there's something in the museum. Yeah. I want to check out the museum if I can. Can I do that without dying to a black hole? Maybe. Is this the museum or the observatory? I guess we'll find out. Um... Oh, dear. <laughs> there's a black hole there. Um... So what I need to do is rotate to get you going... And then rotate back. There we go. 
And this is the crap the museum. Cause I'm really super duper convinced that you can see on the left hand side there's something sticking out of the wall on the other side of the wall. And here, this is a picture of this room, and it suggests there's a doorway right here. So the question is, how do I open the doorway that's right here? Uh, here is one of the places where we met an owl. Let's try to identify all these pictures again a little bit better. This is the waterfall that had some secrets behind it, I think. This is... I'm not sure what that place is, actually, which is kind of a shame. And I still don't know if and what I could do here. If I rotate from here... Is that how I fell out of the wall the one time? Maybe that's how I fell out of the wall the one time. Didn't happen there. Uh, this building... I also don't immediately recognize. This one might be the ancient city or the modern inhabited city. Like either of those, possibly. All right, and then there's a museum and something. So let's see, if I'm here, I don't get stuck in the wall. What if I stand right here? Still don't get stuck in the wall. So what if I stand here? Didn't manage to get stuck in the wall. Like, I don't imagine that that would be a thing, but we saw it happen once. What if I, yeah, what if I'm hanging? Uh, then I'm just kind of hanging off the side. Okay, so how do I get in the secret doorway that's here? I mean, it's probably I have to make some left-right inputs or something. But, but I don't know what. But clearly there's a secret door right here. And I don't know how to enter it. Darn it. And that would get me to the final room of this branch of things. Is there anything in the bookshelf? Like, I've seen lots of books, and I don't think they're ever meaningful. I don't think they translate into anything, and I don't think... I don't think that there's a way to read anything else in this room as an environmental clue. Alright, well, more mysteries for me to investigate in the future. I'm going to say that I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Fez, where hopefully I'll continue to make more progress. For now... Bye-bye.